Hi everyone, this is Kristen and today I'm here with the LifeProof Nude for iPhone 6S Plus. This is a different version than the one for the iPhone 6 Plus, so be careful not to mix them up. They are not interchangeable. There is a single version of the free for the iPhone 6S Plus and iPhone 6 Plus, but the Nude has two different versions because it has no screen protector. So the Nude, in case you are not familiar with it, is somewhat remarkable in that you have an exposed touch screen. So you are not actually using a screen protector with this, which is really, really nice. It is submersible for two meters for one hour, sealed from dust, dirt, and snow, and will survive drops from two meters. So this is a really, really tough case. So having had the nude on my iPhone 6S Plus for some days now, I must say that I am very, very impressed with this case. Unlike some other waterproof cases, the nude does not make me want to rip the case off my phone in frustration. The fit is excellent on the phone, there is a nice amount of grip on it, and it is a true pleasure to be able to touch your actual touch screen. Construction quality seems to be very good. The nude passed its waterproof test without incident, keeping in mind, of course, that I was not able to do an accurate test for water pressure as the depth of water I used was measured in inches rather than in feet. Installation of the nude is actually quite straightforward. Be sure to put your phone in bottom side first. And then snap on the back. And there you go. Looking at the fit of the nude, you can see that we have sealed ports at the bottom of the phone, not surprisingly, given that this is a waterproof case. The lightning port it is not difficult to access, um, and it's reasonably generous. I was able to use several third-party lightning cables with this without any problem. Using headphones, you're probably going to need to use the um, included extension cable. Um, it seems to be quite nice quality. Going around the side of the phone here, you can see we've got grippy bits here at the bottom, which is nice. Um, this part on the side is not particularly grippy, but feels nice in the hand, very rounded, very smooth. Volume buttons are nice and responsive. Um, mute switch um, is not bad to press, a little bit on the hard side, but not too bad. Going around to the back here, um, camera openings are obviously covered. You're going to want to make sure to keep those clean in order to ensure photo quality. I did not notice any problem with flash photography. Everything seems fine. Power button also nice and clicky. The back of the case is translucent, which is nice, although the black version has kind of a uh, grayish translucent rather than a transparent backing, so you can't see the pretty rose gold on my phone, which is kind of sad, but I'm sure it would look really great with the uh, other colors, which are the, the pink, the white, the green, or the blue. Overall, this case feels very nice in the hand. It does not feel like such a large case. Um, it is very slightly larger than the Life Proof Free. Um, same dimensions in terms of the width and the length, but the depth is just a little bit deeper. It's also a little bit heavier than the Free is. Size-wise, if you were to comp compare it to something like the OtterBox Symmetry, it's a little bit bigger, but not too much. This may give you an idea of what I'm talking about. This case does not feel enormous on your phone, which is really nice. Um, and I think visually, the fact that the back is translucent also makes it look a little bit on the smaller side. So really nice case. Um, in terms of usage, the Touch ID is fantastic, works really, really well. They've done a great job with the membrane here. There are no touch screen issues because, well, you're touching your own screen. There is no screen protector here, so that is fantastic. You do have quite a high protective lip on here, but 
Everything is able to be accessed just fine. There's no issue with swiping up or swiping down or doing the thing from the side um, where you can access um, your various tabs. Everything works just great. So um, really no issues whatsoever with this. I'm very, very happy with that usage. In terms of call quality, it's not as good as with a non-waterproof phone, but it's fine. Um, I've been using this, as I said, for several days. I've asked the people on the other end of phone calls you know, to tell me what their opinion is. And it's generally good to very good. It's not excellent. It's not perfect. But for a waterproof case, really, um, I think it's really just remarkably good and absolutely fine, in my opinion. Now, one issue that some people might have is if you're going to go to the beach, you might be worried about scratching your screen because this doesn't have any screen protection. Um, do be assured that LifeProof has thought about this and they actually include a plastic screen protector that you can optionally put on here. So again, we are looking at the LifeProof Nude for iPhone 6S Plus. Many thanks to LifeProof for sending this case out to me to review. It retails for $99.99, comes in five fun colors, black, white, pink, green, and blue. I will put the links below where you can find out more about it. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them. And if you are interested in subscribing to my channel, please consider it. I do try to put out two to three videos a week on iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone 6 Plus, and iPad Air 2, cases, screen protectors, and other interesting accessories, and I would love to have your support. And again, thanks so much for watching about the LifeProof Nude. This is Kristen, and have a wonderful day.